probably heard that minoxidil was originally marketed as an oral medication against hypertension. In fact, to this very day, it's often prescribed for this purpose. So it acts by dilating the blood vessels, allowing more blood to flow. So in patients with hypertension, this leads to a significant drop in blood pressure, which was the original purpose. And it's often claimed that topical minoxidil regrows hair in a similar manner. In other words, it dilates the vasculature of the scalp that supplies the hair follicle with blood. This allows an increased supply of oxygen and glucose, as well as better waste removal. Essentially, just more fuel for those hair follicles to grow. The result is a revitalized hair follicle that can escape the vicious cycle of miniaturization. So that's the theory, at least. But is there actually any hard evidence to back up this theory? Well, the answer is yes. For starters, scientists have found that men with hair loss have poorer blood flow in the balding compared to the non-balding areas of their scalp. But men with healthy hair have the same amount of blood flow throughout the entire scalp. In other words, they show no evidence of impaired blood flow anywhere in their scalp. Whereas the blood circulation in the crown area of balding men is up to two and a half times lower compared to those with healthy hair. So minoxidil helps to reduce this blood flow difference, albeit in the short term. So using advanced techniques like Doppler velocimetry, scientists found that topical application increases blood flow in the applied areas. And the effect is most prominent with the strongest 5% solution. It is, however, very short-lived. The increase in blood flow can be up to 300% and it begins around 15 minutes post-application and lasts up to one and a half hours. That the effect is so short-lived is probably why most minoxidil formulations require that twice daily application. It also kind of explains that hit or miss nature of minoxidil, where it works for some men some of the time and the results are typically nothing to write home about. Now, you might be wondering if minoxidil twice daily is better than once daily, then wouldn't three or four or five times daily be even better? And we know that unfortunately the answer is no. You don't get any more hair by applying any more than twice per day, or even by using concentrations higher than 5%. This is called a ceiling effect in biology. You see most conditions, including hair loss, are multifactorial. So they have multiple causes which kind of combine to cause that inner condition. So there's only so much benefit that you can squeeze out of any one given drug. Now, in addition to actually directly promoting blood flow, minoxidil also stimulates the release of a signaling protein called vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF for short. This encourages the tissues surrounding the hair follicles to create new blood vessels, thereby enhancing the blood flow even more. Some scientists also believe that minoxidil encourages hair growth through its actions on the potassium channels in the hair follicles. So you can think of these potassium channels as the gatekeepers that control the movement of potassium ions into and out of the cells. By opening these channels, minoxidil helps to improve the cellular function and extend the growth phase of the hair follicle. Having said this, if you're using or considering using minoxidil for your hair loss, it would make sense to stack it with those other complementary treatments. A DHT blocker like finasteride will provide a solid foundation to arrest further hair follicle miniaturization and allow growth agents like minoxidil to do their work even more effectively. But it also makes sense to try and stimulate blood flow through those non-drug methods. For example, part of the reason you can't keep upping the minoxidil dosage is the side effects. These are generally topical side effects, but if you keep upping the dosage or the frequency of the application, they'll eventually turn systemic, typically leading to heart palpitations. And that's just not a problem that you had to worry about with a treatment like scalp massages. Scalp massages work by reducing muscular tension around the perimeter of the scalp, reducing fibrosis in the dermis, both of which also improve blood flow to the hair follicle bulbs. And one of the best ways to do scalp massages in a hands-free way as well is with the grow band. The grow band gives you a fully hands-free, fully automated way to get in your 10 minutes of daily scalp massages. A study carried out on the grow band actually found significant increase in the blood flow during and after using the grow band. By pushing and squeezing upwards on the scalp, muscular tension is relieved and the top of the scalp gets creased together, which 
remodels the scalp tissues over time. I think the best solution is using that combination of minoxidil and the grow band since they work so synergistically together. Because if you use just minoxidil, you're not really getting to the root cause of that lack of blood flow, right? You're just applying a topical solution that temporarily improves it. Whereas the grow band actually remodels the scalp tissues to allow greater blood flow consistently and in a cumulative way over time. If you just use the grow band alone, it means you're missing out on some of that power of Minox still to actually reactivate the hair follicle into the growth phase. So using both together makes sense. Then add in some sort of treatment that blocks DHT and you have a very solid treatment stack. Finasteri is by far the most effective and convenient DHT blocker, although supplement alternatives like saw palmetto might also help with slightly fewer potential side effects. Either way, combining treatments to block DHT and improve blood flow throughout the scalp is likely the most effective path to seeing real hair regrowth. To summarize, to really see improvements over the long term in a sustainable way, you must block the DHT and improve the scalp circulation together. And the best way to do that is combining finasteride with the grow band and also using minoxidil to reactivate the hair follicle growth. Okay, let me know if you have any questions at all. I'll try and answer them all. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.